So, tonight's webinar is three easy ways to increase holiday donations. Make more money for your cause by leveraging iGive.com. And uh, I am Lena Scott. I am in the marketing department and also uh, I am one of your cause representatives. So if you ever call and ask for cause support, you might get me. And I'm joined tonight by our Chief Technology Officer, Sandy Schleicher. Hi, everybody. So we are so excited to have everyone here tonight. And just to sort of give you an overview of what's going to be covered in the next just under half hour, um, we're going to talk a little bit about how I give benefits you and some simple tips to increase fundraising dollars. And then we're going to talk about Giving Tuesday, which is an uh, initiative that started about five years ago that I am really excited um, to share with you because I think it's, it's just good for nonprofit organizations. And then da, 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 we'll talk about some upcoming promotions. And actually this one happens to be one of my favorite upcoming promotions. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with all of you. So. How come we're not talking about the Cubs? So you should know that Sandy and I are actually sitting here in suburban Chicago. So if there are any Cleveland plan fans out there, we're really, really sorry. But you know what? Here's what's really actually. I think this should be an agenda. Item. An agenda item is the Cubs. What's really actually very cool <laughs> about this is that both Cleveland and Chicago have been waiting a really long time for a World Series pennant. So to me, although I am a Cubs fan, whoever wins, really, it's historical and it's awesome. You know, what's kind of interesting is if you actually um, follow us on Facebook, every Monday I do Lena's Monday Musings right about noon Central Standard Time. You I can find that on uh, Facebook slash I give. On Facebook slash I give. And you can see me and I kind of babble a little bit, but I babble about things no, I think that are interesting. <laughs> no, it's not. But a couple of weeks ago I talked about getting on the bandwagon. And actually that ties directly into how I give benefits you. So if you've been around Chicago or probably Cleveland for the last couple of weeks, everyone's getting so excited about these teams and about what's happening and about how these teams are rallying a community together. And really, that's what I give does. And I give makes it possible for you to help your charity, your cause, financially at no cost. And we take that power of community. And the more people talk about I give, the more people use I give, the more money goes to a charity or a cause. So I think that, you know, there is a little bit of a tie-in tie to baseball. I am impressed that you took my completely random lead. And I don't know why I threw the Cubs in there and were able to turn that around. That was awesome. Thank you, thank you. So there are basically four major ways that you can use iGive, and hopefully everyone who's on as a clause administrator knows this by now, but you can use the iGive button. To me, I think that the iGive button is the easiest and simple way uh, to use iGive. It's a browser add-on for your desktop or laptop computer, and you would notice it if you had added it on by the little uh, seed icon up in the browser, and when you went to a website, uh, of a retailer or merchant that is an iGive store, um, that little green triangle, I give on, save more, pops up. You know, as of today, we're just over 1,750 retailers. And honestly, they change all the time. I actually saw an email come through that another new retailer wants to join iGive. I don't want to tell what it is, but I was kind of excited about it. It's a store that I shop at. But I happened to see that email in the internal email messages, everyone else isn't going to know it. So these things change all the time. So by having the iGive button, you never miss an opportunity um, if your favorite store has joined iGive or if there's a special coupon or a special deal. But not everybody's working on a computer or a laptop. So, and a lot of people are using mobile these days True. and iPads and, and tablets that aren't full computers. And so for those, we created apps. So for whether you're on Apple and you need an iOS version uh, for either the iPad or iPhone or whether you are on uh, Android and uh, either of those we can give you. The difference though, big difference and important to know is that you have to, unlike the, uh, the iGive button which is automatic if you're in your browser, uh, you have to remember to go into the apps on your iPhone, your iPad or your Android uh, uh, to use the app. Otherwise, unfortunately, you don't get credit. Use the apps, shop, you get credit. Absolutely. You can always go to iGive.com, too, and that works on your phone or on your tablet or on a computer. 
or you can click in a link in any iGIF communication. So we send you a newsletter if you're getting our newsletters, or if you go to our Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, we put in links into those as well. And so if you click on those, then you will get credit. You know what else we do? What else? I, actually, I did know you know this. Um, every but I don't know where you're going with this. I know. So who knows? Again, it's completely <laughs> random. Um, not on the agenda. Uh, every Tuesday at two o'clock, we have been sending out a notification to Android and Apple devices telling people about a special deal that's going on, usually with a couple days uh, time frame on it. And if you click those and you use the app to make a purchase, you can take advantage of those special deals. I do like that. I actually did notice that because periodically I'll be sitting home in the afternoon and that little orange seat will pop up on my phone. I'll be like, hey, what's going on here? So that's awesome. Absolutely, Sandy. Those uh, push notifications are great. So. Back to that analogy with the Cubs. If you're on bandwagon alone, not so exciting. Part of what is really fun, at least here in Chicago, is that so many people are wearing their Cubs gear. So many people are like out there cheering and are excited and doing things. So it's kind of the same thing here. You have to actually have people join and tell people to join. I was on the phone yesterday, and I mentioned this when we did the webinar yesterday. I was on the phone yesterday with a cause, and the cause said to me, Lena, we aren't getting any money from iGIF. I said, well, let me look at your account. They only had one supporter. They who, wasn't, who wasn't shopping? Well, they were shopping a little, but it was okay. very, very little. I said, have you told anyone that you're using iGIF? They said, oh, no. I said, so you've got to share it. You've got to spread the word. For every clause, we've given you a custom join link. In this case, for the Boy Scouts Troop 67, it's igive.com slash BSA67. Depending on what your cause is, it's usually igive.com slash, and it's either your cause name or some acronym. If you don't like your join link, shoot us an email at support.igive.com. Open the ticket and say, can you change my join link? And tell us what you want to change it to. And as long as another cause doesn't have the same join link, We'll change it to whatever you want that makes it work for you. But the idea is, is that you need to tell people to join. You need to tell people to shop. You need to tell people to get on board. And the great thing about that join link is that when somebody clicks it and they come over to the iGIF site, your cause is automatically pre-selected so that they can just sign up very easily. They don't have to pick a cause uh, and automatically they'll be supporting your cause. It's right here like it shows on the screen. So we First like to name. say, yeah. sorry, talk over you. Well, we like to say, uh, you know, it's something that you should be shouting from the rooftops. If you've got an email newsletter that you're sending out, you should put something in there using your join link. If you're on Facebook, we've got some other stuff on Facebook that Leno will get to in a few minutes. But having your join link out there is a great way to do it. If you're using Twitter, Instagram, uh, whatever, however you're communicating, even if you do a paper newsletter, once a month or once a quarter, put it in there because it's, these things are pretty short and people will type them in. Right. And it makes it so much simpler because if you go through the regular I give route, you actually have to search for your cause. If you give them your custom join link, you get to a screen like the one we're showing where all you have to do is put your first name, last name, zip code, email address, and create a password, and you're done. And they're a member of I give. So it's really that simple. So on to some tips. You know, most causes have to buy things. And so one of the things we were might office supplies, right? Okay. Maybe. Or materials for the event or gifts. You don't you know, usually a cause has some need to buy something at some point in time. And really, if you shop for your own cause, while you may not necessarily be earning money, the rebate that you're getting back, the money you're earning by shopping through I give actually becomes a discount to your cause. So, for example, you're purchasing office supplies for your cause. And, you know, you buy it at Staples or Office Max, and let's say that this week they have a 2% cash back. That means you're paying 2% less, essentially, for those items. Plus, they might have coupons or other deals that we're offering that are special to iGift shoppers. So you might get a great deal on top of it. And you're going to get a check back for some of that money. So again, too, as you're looking at this time of year and you're budgeting maybe for next year, if you budget to shop through iGive, you can always count on at least some donation back to your cause for every purchase that you're making that's a qualified purchase. Um, 
you know, materials for events, gifts for people. I have to say that I'm on a board and we, uh, we bought t-shirts and we bought it through an iGive retailer. And that meant that the t-shirts cost us just that much less because we had the budget for the t-shirts, but then we got the donation back. So it was a great deal. And like you said, there's tons of coupons on iGive. Uh, look at each merchant, you know, that you're shopping at. There's usually several, uh, if not several pages of coupons. And, uh, and often, especially this time of year, there's free shipping too. So you can kind of stack multiple things on top of each other and, make, and save a lot of money. Hey, Sandy, did you know that every Friday on Facebook, we post a store that's doing free shipping Friday? I know that today because you told me about that yesterday. <laughs> so, but I didn't know about that yesterday. Right, so check out our Facebook page because sometimes we have special offers that we put only up on social media like free shipping Friday. And so store might have free shipping um, on a Friday that you can get on, on Facebook. You know, um, Chun asks, is there a way to make corporate account purchases eligible? that they use a corporate account and they have to sign in in such a way on some site. And I, what I would suggest on that is open a ticket uh, on support.igive.com and ask us about the specific vendor that you uh, are inquiring about and we will ask our... Uh, our merchant team. We'll our ask our merchant team, team to look at it. To research it and we can, we can find that out for you. It may or may not. We don't know. It depends on the merchant. And, I think that some customers. merchants will let you do that um, because what happens is you'll go to the site first and then if you sign in as a member. I know that, like, for example, at Staples, now this isn't a merchant account, but at Staples I get Staples reward points and I still get my Staples reward points when I shop through iGive.com. I just have to start at iGive and then when I, sign, when I get over to the Staples page I add my rewards number and everything works just fine. So we'll look into that for you. Uh, the support team can absolutely look into that for you. Um, so another way that you can increase um, your holidays, uh, holiday fundraising is to create a holiday wish list and ask for gifts from iGive.com stores. So now that works for you as an individual or for your supporters to tell them, hey, if you're you know, kids or anyone are making a holiday wish list, um, let people know that they can shop at these iGive.com stores and shop through iGive.com and you'll get a donation. Or, for example, I, you know, if you're, a, if you're a shelter and during the holidays you're an animal shelter and during the holidays you need things like extra kitty litter and pet beds and things like that, for maybe dog food for your shelter, make a wish list and tell people that they can go to Petco or PetSmart and that they can buy these things online for you. Have them shipped directly to your shelter and not only will your shelter get the donation but you'll also get a cash donation because their purchase was made through iGive.com. Yeah, well you, you, know, you already mentioned that I'm Chief Technology Officer here at iGive and my wife knows very, very well that anything at thinkgeek.com is appropriate for me. Now, my kids are teenagers in my house, and so they love gift cards. Because when I say, what do you want, they go, I don't know, give me a gift card. So what I've started to tell my friends and family who want to buy them gifts is, if you go to iGift.com, there's a whole selection of gift cards, like American Express gift cards, or I have a senior in high school, she's going to be going to college. I said, you know, you could buy a Bed Bath & Beyond gift card online, and those we can save so that she can... Buy. We like to give those as graduation presents. Right, they're great graduation presents. For Target. And people buy those at the holidays too. People are buying them already for her so that she can save up and, and use those next year when she needs them. And you can buy those gift cards through iGive.com and give them as presents or ask people to give them as presents in your favorite cause or their favorite cause. We'll get the donation. The one question I have about gift cards is double check your exceptions and tell your members, your supporters, to double check the exceptions. Because once in a while, the rules on gift cards but, don't change. But, 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 you know what you can do? If you go to the all stores list on yeah. our show, there is a whole category uh, in the categories list on the left for gift cards, for stores that offer gift cards that do uh, make donations when you purchase Absolutely, but so be careful. Can it's always, not, you it's can not, always look there, check the exceptions, Yeah, too. it's not always can complete, too. Sometimes stores don't always list themselves. That's true. Here's the thing. The bottom line with increasing your donations is really 
talking about it. I know that that's... That's whether you're using I give or not. Anything. Right. That's just, it's just a general rule. And here's the thing. I know that it's hard to ask for money. Oops. Now you guys hear my phone ring because we're actually doing this out of my house. I know that it's really hard to ask for money. And I have trouble with it too. I'm not the greatest at saying to someone, hey, could you donate to this or that because it's important to me. But if you don't ask, if you don't talk, then there's no way that anyone's going to know that it's important to you to give those donations or to help out. So if you're giving, if you're writing a holiday card, I know Sandy's family writes a holiday card every year and a holiday letter and sort of fills us in on what's going on and things Sandy's we might have missed. No, Sandy writes it. <laughs> Sandy writes the card. Okay, Sandy's family doesn't write it at all. Sorry, guys. Lisa, Joel, and Alex, forgive me here. Um, but Sandy writes the holiday card. And every year he talks about the fact that he works at iGive and reminds people that iGive is a great way to help your cause raise money. If you're writing a holiday card or including a holiday message in a, a corporate card, it's not a bad thing to write on the bottom of that card to say, by the way, if you're shopping online this year, consider using iGive.com. It helps us raise funds for your cause. And that's also a place where you can put that join link that we talked about um, so that people know how to sign up. Honestly, get social. Social media is, is where it's at. Um, my high school senior told me today that her generation is now termed Generation Life. That because they like things on Facebook, they give that thumbs up, that they're all about the social media. Agreed. Yeah. Okay, Charlie Brown. Um, <laughs> But the reality is, is that we all do know that social media has a tremendous impact on what's going on um, in our society today. And so post about it, Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media your cause is using, get out there and say, hey, we have a goal of X. We're trying to raise this much for the holidays. However you choose to give that message, just include it and let people know that this is a way that they can help you. And ask, other, ask those people to share that as well. Absolutely. Please share this message. And the reality is, well, we here at iGive would love you to share the message of shopping at iGive. If iGive isn't your priority, the bottom line is share so that people know to support your cause, however they choose to support your cause. We do have a couple of hashtags that we've been promoting. Um, one is I shop, I give. Really, I think that's pretty pretty effective to explain what happens at iGive.com. Um, another one is more generic about, you know, just the idea of giving the spirit of giving. I give to you. And the last one is hashtag free money because the reality is that with iGive, when you're shopping online, you're not paying anything else extra. You're not paying anything more. You are shopping online and you are uh, earning free money for your cause. Finally, you know, we have all sorts of tools on our website if you want to share about iGive. It's the Tell a Friend page. If you click on Tell a Friend in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, um, this is the page that you would come to. And Sandy, can you tell us a little bit about what, what these different choices are? Sure. Well, Lena was just talking about social media. So uh, the first one on there is Facebook. And this, if you click that, it'll post a message to your Facebook page uh, telling, you know, your friends on Facebook that you support whatever cause you support, and that they can help to uh, by using iGIF. And it gives them a link, and again, that kind of uses a personal join link in it so that they'll be supporting your cause automatically if they click it. Similar for Twitter, except it's a lot shorter, right? 140 characters or less. Um, and then we have a kind of a blurb, if you click on the email one, uh, that gives you some text that you can either use verbatim or you can modify, edit it how you want. Uh, just it's text that we suggest asking people to, uh, to help support your cause. And then there's a, a personal join link, if you will, here, uh, which includes your uh, member ID encoded in it so that we know that if somebody clicks that and joins that, uh, that you referred them. And sometimes we do promotions that offer a bonus or entries in a contest if you use your personal join link. And then it would show up on your My Referrals section. Right, right. And, uh, and so that's a, that is to be used for pretty much anything. It's a little, that's different than your cause join link, 
uh, which isn't tied to an individual. That just gets people to your cause. The, you know, I'm going to have you leave us here for a second. Oh, sorry. There's also um, social media options at the cause level. Absolutely. And uh, we have, we give you the ability for iGive to automatically post certain kinds of information to your cause fan page uh, once a week, once a month, when there's pertinent information, when somebody makes a purchase, um, so that you can get different content about there and people see that iGive is really helping your cause. Uh, some great things, especially when your cause is getting a check and people see that posted. You know, we have research that shows that when causes enable custom join links, uh, enable, I'm sorry, auto, auto posting on Facebook, that they actually see a 395% increase in their donations. Yeah, it's huge. Now, I mean, that assumes that you have people who like your, your uh, page, and that goes back to communicating and making sure that people know that your cause is out there and where to go to find information about it. Absolutely. So moving ahead, we, uh, uh, ooh. Uh, technical difficulties there. Um, Giving Tuesday. I mentioned at Giving Tuesday that Giving Tuesday um, has been out there for about five years. Um, it is held annually the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. It was an initiative that basically started with the idea that here in the U.S., Thanksgiving is our national day of, of saying thank you. Black Friday has become the consumer holiday, right, with everyone going off and shopping. And then Cyber Monday has been the day where everyone does online shopping. So once you sort of get that like first rush of shopping out of the way, the Giving Tuesday folks want us to stop and think about giving. Well, at first when Giving Tuesday started, we at iGive were sort of like, well, we give all the time, and we let you give through your shopping, so how does this apply to us? You know, the more we thought about it and the more we talked about it, and this is now our second year really being active um, in participating with Giving Tuesday, the more we realized that we are a part of it because we enable people to, to kick off their giving efforts. And we understand that giving cash is really important, but some folks don't have the ability to give cash. Um, some folks may, you know, need to give presents, and the December time of year isn't the best time for them to give well, cash. And the Giving Tuesday organization now is encouraging people to use stores that give back to the community and that's where, you know, I give it's just a perfect match. Absolutely. So it's an initiative to start off the giving season. And the other thing is that it's hyper-local. So the idea is that Giving Tuesday is a national effort, but all of your causes, for the most part, are causes that impact your local community. So one of the things that I give and Giving Tuesday are encouraging is that you reach out to your local media, not necessarily like the big papers like the Chicago Tribune or the Chicago Sun-Times, but your local papers. Daily Herald. Right? Daily Herald or your local Pioneer Press newspaper, those are the smaller papers in the Chicago area. But whatever your local community newspaper is, and submit a op-ed that's sort of like an opinion piece to say, this is who our cause is and this is why we give. Or and they don't have to be long. No. They, they're just a couple paragraphs usually and they appear in the editorial section. Absolutely. Or promote some events and say, hey, these are things going on and we'd like you to be a part of it. Maybe let people know what kind of benefit will happen in your community by their giving. And let them know that you guys are participating in, in Giving Tuesday. Also, a part of Giving Tuesday is the whole unselfie movement, which is a social media movement. And you take a picture and use the hashtag unselfie and Giving Tuesday. So I sort of modified this uh, one off of the Giving Tuesday website. And it said, the original ones that I give to and the cause name, and I said I shop for cause name, and hashtag I shop I give, and hashtag unselfie. Talk about how you're giving and why. And make sure you're using your networks, your email lists, your newsletters to tell them that Giving Tuesday is important to your cause. And, and include your join link And in include that. your join link and include the hashtag so that they know to support you. Um, here's some sample language, you know, that you can use. I'm supporting blank by shopping through igive.com. Hashtag Giving Tuesday, hashtag I shop I give, or you know I'm giving to blank through my online shopping with I give. So again, these are some simple ways. Also, if you go to the Giving Tuesday website, um, they also have some amazing tools and resources for causes who are looking to. Join. So these, are, this is language like for Twitter. Yeah, it's short. It is short. So promotion time. Woo you know what? By the way, 
we have pop-up promotions periodically, so you should always check your email if you're a cause administrator, because you never know what we're going to send you and what we're going to tell you. But this one is one I'm telling you in advance. This is one of my favorite things. We do 31 days of giving. It's from December 1st to December 31st. We ask our causes and our members to post their favorite holiday pictures. They post them on the iGive.com Facebook page. It goes in the photo section, and then you get to look through them, and you get to vote for your favorite ones. And I have to tell you, I saw some amazing photos last year that supported such incredible efforts, like some pet efforts, some that um, uh, supported um, firefighters who had died in the line of duty, and they were just so heart-wrenching and moving. I mean, the, the spectrum of causes that we have at iGive were so represented in these pictures. So... You tell your friends to vote, and they can. Uh, and the top three causes will win money. The first cause will win the first prize, and second and third will win a second prize. So we encourage you to um, watch your emails for details on 31 Days of Giving. But um, tell your members to post their pictures and vote on vote for them because they're really exciting. And by the way, in addition to that, during 31 Days of Giving, when they're going to the site to check out these pictures, there are going to be some amazing special social. Uh, social media offers that will be on Facebook, Twitter, and I think we're also going to try and get them up on Instagram. Um, and these are just a few of the stores that are, are already committed to offering special deals for us during 31 days of giving. You know, in, we want to be sensitive of your time, and we know we're just approaching 7.30 right now, and then we'll take your questions. But the bottom line is, it's all about communications. Um, we just get started. We'll take it from there. If you enable us to auto-post, we'll be happy to do that. And um, ask for help. I think that's the other most important thing that I can tell you. Um, Support.igive.com, open a ticket, and that is a resource for you to reach out and ask us your personalized questions, um, anything that you might need to know. Or if you need help. Yeah, about anything. So um, and there's also a plethora of knowledge out there. We've got a, what we call our knowledge base. And Pretty much every question that's ever been asked over the 19 years that we've been in business has an answer out there. Most of them. Almost. And uh, so, it's a, especially on a weekend or at night when you may not get an answer back immediately, great source to do a search in the knowledge base uh, and you can get your answer right away. The other thing to remind your supporters at the end of the year is that we're not tax professionals, but our tax professionals have told us that uh, if you are a 501c3, a religious or governmental organization, or have receipts less than $5,000, your uh, supporters' donations that have come through iGive may be tax deductible. And uh, as long as they sort of followed the rules of how to do it right, that uh, they should be able to print that off and give it to their accountant or tax professional to include it in their taxes. Again, we're not tax professionals, double check, but it's a great uh, thing to remind you. You can people. get that report off of the My Stats page on the site. Absolutely. So now is the time for questions and answers. And, um, you know, one question um, I, I'm, I'm seeing here, um, Sandy, that maybe you could answer is, you know, that frequency thing, well, I don't want it to appear too much on my website. How do I how do I make sure that happens? Well, I think you mean Facebook, and yeah, the person means Facebook. Oh, well, I think that is what they the mean. website. But um, you, with the Facebook options that we can do auto post for, you control how often those things post to, uh, to Facebook. So, like I said, you can. We don't recommend it, but we allow daily. Uh, we usually default to weekly or monthly, depending on what the different messages are. There's, I think there's four different. Uh, auto posts that we can do. Uh, one is just a general join link. Another is uh, how much your cause has earned over the course of the year. Another is uh, that you're getting a check. And there's a fourth one that I'm not remembering. I don't know. Now that you say that, of course you're you know. But if you go to the cause section of the website uh, and click on the slide out panel on the left and see the connect icon in Facebook. Uh, you'll see all the information in there. By the way, just to, as a reminder, as a cause administrator, to use the cause features of the website, you need to first log into a personal iGive account, which may, if you don't have one, you just sign up for free, uh, and then you're done with that. It, if you already have one, it may or may not be the same as uh, the email address that you use for communications with iGive. But you need an account, a personal account, and then you log in using your cause ID, which is a number, and your separate cause password, and then you can get into 
the ledger and other types of the Facebook functionality and other cool stuff. So I'm, I'm sort of looking through some of the other questions we have here, and I think we've covered most of them in, in the way we've answered the questions. Um, I'll give you about 60 more seconds if anyone else has a question that we did not cover. Um, we would love to hear from you right now, but otherwise, we really appreciate your time. We know that being a cause administrator is, is a lot of work, and remember that I give is a tool to help you. Um, so we're here to give you different ideas and resources. Also, as we look to create uh, future webinars, we are looking to hear from our cause administrators to say, what is useful to you? Are there areas of things that you would like to learn about that we could be a resource for? Because uh, earlier this year, we did bring in an expert who talked about future planning uh, for causes. But you know, we would love to bring in people that um, have expertise. Um, and you know, my, my little cat Lily, who I rescued <laughs> from a shelter, just jumped on my lap. Can you say hi, Lily? Uh, on that note, this webinar, uh, as well as our past webinars, uh, will be up on our support site, support.agu.com. Uh, so you can uh, listen to it again, or you can send that link to anybody uh, who, uh, who you think should see this. And uh, this is probably our last webinar for this calendar year. For 2016. Uh, so uh, wishing everyone a happy and healthy remainder of 2016. And, yeah, uh, happy Halloween and Thanksgiving and holidays if you celebrate. And Happy New Year. And uh, please use support.igive.com. Um, we are happy to answer any or all of your questions year-round on that site. And uh, we look forward to uh, continuing to help you in the future. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you soon. Go Cubbies!